You may have seen me using these kitchen gadgets for eggs in previous videos. Well today, with Easter looming, we're swapping out real eggs with chocolate eggs. We're going to make some sticky gooey treats. But first I want to see if any of these gadgets can be used with chocolate eggs. I'm using these cream eggs because once you've broken through the outer chocolate shell, you get to a delicious egg white and yolk centre. But you could use any chocolate egg. We'll start by seeing if it's possible to use this eggshell cutting tool to take the top off my chocolate egg. The first thing I noticed is the egg is significantly smaller than a real egg. It looks tiny in this egg cup. And when I try the gadget, the egg sticks inside. It's hardly surprising really, the gadget hasn't broken the chocolate. Although it did make a small impression. The other type of gadget I used previously does the same job, but it works a bit differently. But when I tried it with the chocolate egg, it wouldn't work because the egg is so small it just fitted right up inside. But let's try the automatic egg cracker. The idea is we put an egg in here, and when we squeeze the handle, it cracks the egg open and splits the shell in two. It works really well with raw eggs, but let's give it a try with this chocolate one. All it did was score up the outside of the egg and make a mess. So the gadgets didn't really work, but let's try doing some chocolate egg cooking. We all know what a poached egg is, and there's various ways of doing it. But how's it best to poach a chocolate egg? Well, I decided to do it in milk. Let's try making the ultimate Easter egg hot chocolate. So I heated up some milk in a saucepan, and I made sure it was really hot. But do be careful, it doesn't boil over. I'm also adding a little bit of drinking chocolate to get us started. I could have added the egg into the saucepan, but I thought it would be nice to serve it in the mug. So I poured the milk in, make sure you don't fill it too high, then take a chocolate egg, and I'm putting it into this little strainer, so I can lower it down into the mug. Leave it to poach for a minute or so, and dip it in and out so the chocolate starts dripping down into the drink. I'm taking a spoon and you can see it's completely melted. If you like, you could start eating it like this. Or mash it through the strainer, and mix it into the drink. It's really satisfying, and there's now a whole cream egg in this drink. Pretty cool, huh? Chocolate poached eggs are great fun, and they taste delicious. You may have seen me previously make mini fried eggs which I served on toast. There's a link to this video in the description. But I thought we should try and see if we can do something similar with chocolate eggs. I started by trying to slice up an egg with a knife. But as I cut it, it just crushed the chocolate and made a mess. So I heated up an old knife on the gas hob, and used that to kind of melt and cut through slices of the egg. And it worked quite well. You might have to reheat the blade in between slices, but it did work. You can cut slices pretty evenly, and it melted the chocolate too. I placed them onto some nice warm toast, cut the rest into slices, and there's our chocolate egg on toast. And because it's all nice and warm, we can actually spread it and layer it over the toast. It's pretty decadent, but it tastes really good. A nice alternative to Nutella. I just want to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers and my channel members. I really appreciate all your support, and if you'd like more information about memberships, you can click the join button, or there's a link in the description. For the next one, instead of making hard boiled eggs, I'm going to try making battered deep fried eggs. So I filled a pan half full with oil, and gently heated it up. While it was heating, I made the batter. I mixed together one cup full of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Then slowly poured in half a cup of milk, and half a cup of water. Whisk it until it's nice and smooth, and there's no lumps. Then I placed in the chocolate egg. I'm actually doing two. Make sure they're well coated in the batter. Then carefully lower them into the hot oil. Do be careful it doesn't spit. And I'm leaving them until they're golden brown, which only took a minute or two. And when they're done, I scooped them out, and left them to cool for a few minutes. And they look amazing! The batter has actually worked pretty well. And if I give it a little squeeze, 
You can see it's actually a bit soft in the center. So I carefully ripped it open. And out dripped the fondant. It's an amazing, warm, gooey, surprise treat. And the batter holds it all together really well. They're amazing to just bite into. I really like omelettes. And you can make a really simple one by whisking together a couple of eggs and pouring them into a pan. Then scatter over some toppings and leave it to cook for a few minutes. But what about chocolate egg omelette? Let's give it a go. So this time I'm cracking the egg with a knife and putting it in the pan. I'm doing two eggs again and heating them on a very gentle heat. But I'm also going to smash them up a little bit more with this fork. It looks a right mess at the moment, but let's see what happens as it warms. I'm going to add a handful of these mini marshmallows as a topping. So I scattered them over the eggs. And you can see the chocolate has now melted. I gave it another half minute. Then tried serving it up. It was quite difficult. But I was just able to kind of slide it out of the pan and onto a plate. And there's our chocolate mess. I mean chocolate omelette. It might not look the best. But as you'd expect, it tastes pretty amazing, especially with the melted marshmallows. So, if you're having an omelette for main course, you might be wanting something sweet for pudding. I'm making chocolate fudge cream egg brownies. And to keep things simple, I'm using this packet mix. It's so easy to make. Just tip the packet into a mixing bowl, add in water and oil, and an egg, and mix it all together. When you're done, it should be quite a thick mixture. Then spread it out across a baking tray. So, where do the chocolate eggs come in? Well, I'm chopping them in half, right down the centre. And I'm doing three all together. Then place them into the brownie mixture, sunny side up, like this. And bake them in the oven, as per the instructions. When they're ready, this is what we got. It looks pretty amazing. And without even letting them cool, I'm digging one out straight away. And I'm serving it with ice cream. What a treat! The fondant centre is kind of warm and sticky. The whole thing is just amazing. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.